Hello everyone, it's Andy Glenn here at Sharks TV. Absolutely delighted to be joined by Sharks' recent sign-in, Mr Callum Hepburn. Callum, how are you doing? And, um, I'm well, Andy. I'm, uh, things seem to be getting serious all of a sudden. How do you mean serious? We're just signing you. Is that what you mean? <clears throat> well, big things ahead. That's all I'm going to say. Big things ahead. Big things ahead. Um, and of course, you had... Just an amazing season. I mean, I would say a real breakout season for you. Have you ever had a better season for for the team, but also for you personally? No, nah, I think I think through and through that was probably my best year. Um, I'd like to say I've had good years before, but I think last year was it was just a bit different. Everything seemed to click. The team was fantastic, and you know, it just it was one of those years. Everything went well pretty much all year, bar a couple of slip ups. I would say um, you have had good years in the past, but last year was outstanding. I was just having a wee look through the last six games. Can you mind the scores of the last six games? No. Nah. Well, I know the last two. <laughs> right. Well, obviously, Streatham was a 4-0 win. Um, we had the Lions 11-1. We had the Lions away 9-0. Barnes 11-1. Warriors 2-0. Um, and Streatham 4-0. Sorry, it was the Warriors 4-0 and then uh, Streatham 4-0. Um, 360 minutes of hockey, two goals let in. That's unbelievable. It's unusual for me, that. <laughs> it's outstanding. You know, there was a lot of shots at you as well. <clears throat> you know, I, I, let's be honest, right? From a personal standpoint and a team standpoint, there's not a better way to round off a season than a couple of finals and a couple of, a lot to a little, or even the Whitley game, to be fair, wasn't a lot, but it was tight. But anything to zero is, is good in my books, like. Absolutely. I think you probably could have had a lot more um, donuts this year as well because you kind of came off and let um, Grant come on and other, other um, netties come on. So you could probably yeah. have had a lot more shutouts, really. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's, stats are just stats. It's like I've been the guy in the bench and I said that to Grant all year and whoever else was on the bench, if I can get you in, you're going in. Whether you want to or no, you're going in because mm -hmm. everyone wants the experience and everyone deserves to play. And you know what, Grant was that guy all year. He was a fantastic teammate and he deserved it. So I'm quite happy to share the net with someone who deserves it. Absolutely. No, it was a great performance. It was a great year. What was the, what was the absolute highlight for you? Hmm. I don't know. It was like, both finals were really good. I mean, cup final penalties were pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> that kind of, of backdoor save I had in the third period at Billingham, the cup final. But the time meant nothing. And then give or take 10, 15 seconds later, Big Kersey sniping for the point. That was always a wee, a wee shiner. But nah, I don't know if I had one particular highlight, to be honest. I think, if, I think everybody's going to remember that Billingham game for a long, long time. As you say, that save and then penalties. There was just no way anybody was going to beat you, was there? Nah, we'll just, we'll just not talk about whoever scored from behind the goal line. We'll just blank that one out. We've forgotten that already. <laughs> and of course you also um, managed to get another medal tell us how that came about with Peterborough ah, that was just a, a weird Wednesday that when Spud dropped us a message and uh, said that Slava's after a goalie and if I wanted to go down and took a wee Friday trip to Leeds and got to have an absolutely fantastic experience playing for Peterborough in the cup final and um yeah, see, to be honest, I, it might not have been my best game, but oh, it gave me a taste of what I want and I want to play in this league and I want to prove myself. And I think as a team, we are going to we're going to show people that we're here and we're here to stay. Do you really think so? Is that is that? I mean, we're not there just to take part. Nah, we're we're not here to take part. I'll I'll, I'll say that right now. I I fully believe that what what these guys are putting together um, along with Spud. And Jamie, I think it's a team that's here, and we're gonna. I think we're gonna upset a few people this year. What are you thinking of the signing so far? Well, I think so far we're solid, very solid. I think uh, Stents and Baz coming in kind of made a few people pay attention to us. I think it was a bit of a, a good start statement signings, um, and I think there's going to be a few more along the way. And I think people are going to really have to take note, and that we're <laughs> we're not just here to take part. Hundred percent, and our defence is looking good already. 100%. I think we're solid at the back end. As always, you know, we're, we, we generally pride ourselves on defence and as Spud says, defence first, offence takes care of itself and I think we're just going to roll through that again this year and I don't think we'll be short of goals either. 
I can sense the excitement in you just desperate to play in this in this league. Oh, buzzing, buzzing. What was that about? Just, uh, what was about the experience that's so special that makes you so looking forward to it? Ah, it's just it's a better pace. The shots go where you think they're going to go. Um, atmosphere is a lot. Every rink's going to be busy. It's going to be packed. There's going to be an atmosphere. And I know for a fact the shark tank's going to be packed again. We're going to have sold sold out games every Saturday or Sunday whenever we're home. And I think the atmosphere and the, just the excitement of a new league for and a, well, basically a new team in the league, it just makes it even more exciting. There's not going to be as many one-sided games either, is there? Nah, there's not going to be a blowout. There's never a blowout in that league. I think Leeds maybe had one or two last year. Um, but nah, it's a, it's a deep league through and through, definitely. Is that probably the biggest, I'm not going to say the biggest issue, but is it difficult to keep your concentration when we are 10, 12 goals up? It's not fun. It's not fun for anyone, really. I don't even think the forwards enjoy it. I think you get to a point where it's just, you go through the motions, you know, we've had games where spuds, after the second, you're up by 10, was it right? Just win the period, we're going to do, just keep your structure, etc., etc. Whereas now you're going to go into periods and you might be one, two, three down or one, two, three up, which is nothing. You can lose that in a couple of minutes, you know? So it's going to be exciting from the start to the end. And I think the fans that enjoyed like the final cup finals last year at home, you're going to see games like that every week. So you're going to have to get yourself down there and you're going to have to get, get your tickets bought and get in the rink and make some noise and see some good hockey. I can't wait myself. I just can't wait. <laughs> Yeah. Um, right, one last question for your biggest fan. Are you going to keep this nickname that he's bestowed on you? Oh, mate, oh. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a bit more. Uh, there could be a few, a few less wall moments if you get me. But uh, I, if, if I can keep Big O and happy, I'll, I'll keep trying and I'll keep trying to live up to his nickname that he's gave me. Absolutely. Um, Owen will be the happiest shirt fan about You know he's a huge fan of yours. And he sponsors oh, you pretty I, much all the time, doesn't he? I think he's got every top I've ever worn. He's got probably more tops than you. 100%. I don't think I've got any. Owen, get Callum, he's, get, at least give him one top back. Come on. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to say thanks so much for joining me tonight. Um, and just congratulations on your signing. I, it was never really in doubt that you were going to come back, was it? Nah, it's never in doubt, but hey, you've got to keep the fans holding on just a wee bit longer. I'm just surprise them at the end. Oh, aye, we're in the show now. We've got to, we've got to keep <laughs> it going, aren't we? So, suspense is a killer. Absolutely. Right, you take care and thank you so much for your time, Owen. Yeah, not Owen. Calm, sorry. <laughs> you know, Andy. Cheers, pal. Cheers, man.